In this video, we are going to talk about what is double angle formulas and identities. So when we are talking about double angle formulas and identities, these are the formulas and identities that we need to remember. The first one is sine 2 theta, that is 2 sine theta times cosine theta. And the second one is cosine 2 theta, that is cosine square theta minus sine square theta. There are different values of cosine 2 theta, but this time we are going to focus on cosine square theta minus sine square theta. And the last one is tangent 2 theta, that is 2 tangent theta all over 1 minus tangent square theta. So these are the formulas and identities that we are going to use in order for us to evaluate the given expression. So let's start and let's have an example. On the first example, we have sine theta that is 3 over 5 and theta is between 0 and pi over 2 or 90 degrees. So if we are going to plot this one in a Cartesian coordinate plane, we are going to have here x and y axis. So this will be 0. So this will be pi over 2. And if we have a right triangle, and this will be the given angle, this side is opposite side, and this will be adjacent side, and opposite to 90 degrees is hypotenuse. Since sine that is opposite over hypotenuse, opposite will be 3, and the hypotenuse side is 5. Actually, this will be 3, 4, and 5 triangle. So the adjacent side is 4. And to find the value of cosine, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And the adjacent side, that is 4, and the hypotenuse is 5. So this will be the value of cosine. And tangent, that is opposite over adjacent, that is 3, and adjacent is 4. So 3 over 4 is the value of tangent. So let us use this information to find the value of sine 2 theta. Sine 2 theta, that is 2 sine theta times cosine theta. So let us have 2. And then sine theta, that is 3 over 5. And cosine theta, that is 4 over 5. So let us simplify. 2 times 3 times 4, that is 24. And 5 times 5 is 25. So this will be the value of sine 2 theta. And this will be our answer. What about for cosine? So if we have cosine 2 theta, that is cosine square theta minus sine square theta. So cosine, that is 4 over 5. And then we have a square minus sine, that is 3 over 5, and then square. So let us simplify. 4 times to itself, that is 16. And then 5 squared is 25 minus 3 squared, that is 9. 5 squared is 25. Since we are subtracting fraction with the same denominator, let us copy the denominator, which is 25. And then 16 minus 9, that is 7. And this will be the value of cosine to theta. And to find the value of tangent, there are two different ways to find the value of tangent. The first one is tangent to theta, that is sine to theta over cosine to theta. We all know that sine to theta, that is 24 over 25. And then cosine to theta, that is 7 over 25. So let's have 7 over 25. So let us cancel 25. So that is 24 over 7. So this will be the value of tangent to theta. But let us confirm our answer using the double angle formula of tangent. So tangent to theta, that is 2 tangent theta all over 1 minus tangent square 
theta. We have 2 and then tangent that is 3 over 4 and then 1 minus 3 over 4 square. So let us cancel this one. So 4 becomes 2. So we are going to have here 3 over 2 all over, let us write 1 minus 3 squared, that's 9, and 4 squared, that is 16. So let us write our answer here. So let us have 3 over 2 over 16 times 1, that is 16, minus 9 all over 16. So let us simplify. Let us write 3 over 2 again, and then 16 minus 9, that is 7 over 16. So let us simplify. 3 times 16. So let us have here 3 times 16. And then 2 times 7. So let us cancel 16 and 2. So 2 becomes 1 and 16 becomes 8. And then 3 times 8, that is 24 over 7. So we come up with the same answer. On example number 2, cosine theta, that is pi over 13, and theta is between 3 pi over 2, or 270 degrees, and 2 pi, that is 360 degrees. If we are going to plot this one in a Cartesian coordinate plane, we are going to have x and y axis. So this will be 2 pi, and this will be 3 pi over 2. And if we have a right triangle, this will be the given angle. This side, that is the opposite side, and this will be the adjacent, opposite to 90, that is the hypotenuse. Since cosine, that is adjacent over hypotenuse, so this side is 5, and the hypotenuse is 13, so this will be 5, 12, 13. But, since the given angle is located in quadrant 4, so the sine in quadrant 4 is positive and negative. So therefore, the opposite side will be negative. So this will be negative 12. So let us find the value of sine. Since sine is opposite over hypotenuse, the value of opposite is negative 12 and hypotenuse is 13 and this will be the value of sine and tangent that is opposite over adjacent that is negative 12 over adjacent that is 5 so this will be the value of tangent now let us use this one to find the double angle of sine so we have sine 2 theta sine 2 theta that is 2 sine theta cosine theta so let us have 2 and sine that is negative 12 over 13 and cosine that is 5 over 13 so if we are going to multiply 2 times negative 12 times 5 that is negative 120 and then 13 times 13 that is 169 so this will be the value of sine to theta so let us find the value of cosine to theta cosine to theta that is cosine square theta minus sine square theta and cosine that is 5 over 13 and we have a square minus sine that is negative 12 over 13 then square so let us simplify so let's have here 5 square that is 25 and 13 square is 169 minus negative 12 multiplied by itself or negative 12 square that is 144 and then 13 square that is 169 so let us simplify. So let us have 25 minus 144 over 169. 
25 minus 144, that is negative 119 over 169. And this will be our answer. So this will be the value of cosine 2 theta. Now, let us find the value of tangent. There are two different ways to find the value of tangent. First, since tangent is sine over cosine, so if we have tangent 2 theta, that is sine 2 theta over cosine 2 theta. Since the value of sine 2 theta, that is negative 120 over 169, and cosine 2 theta, that is negative 119 over 169, so let us cancel 169, and negative divide by negative is positive. So therefore, the value of tangent is 120 over 119. And this will be our answer. But let us confirm this one using the double angle formula of tangent. That is tangent 2 theta, that is 2 tangent theta over 1 minus tangent square theta. So let's have 2. And then tangent, that is negative 12 over 5. And then 1 minus negative 12 over 5 square. So let us have... 2 multiplied by negative 12, that is negative 24 over 5. And then we have 1, then we have negative sign. Negative 12 squared, that is 144, over 5 squared, that is 25. So let us simplify. So let us write negative 24 over 5, and let's have 25 minus 144 over 25 so let us have negative 24 over 5 and then let us have 25 minus 144 that is negative 119 over 25 so let us have another sheet of paper so let's have negative 24 over 5 and then negative 119 over 25 so let us multiply so let's have negative 24 times 25 over 5 times negative 119 so we can cancel 5 and 25 so 5 becomes 1 and 25 becomes 5 because they are divisible by 5 and then 24 times 5 that is so let us have here, let's move, negative 24 times 5, that is negative 120, and then 1 times negative 119, that is negative 119, and negative divided by negative is positive, so our, our answer is 120 over 119, and this will be our answer. So we come up with the same answer. On example number 3, we have... 2 sine 75 degrees times cosine 75 degrees. Since we don't know what is the value of sine 75 and cosine 75, but the given expression is written in the form of sine 2 theta, that is 2 sine theta times cosine theta. So the value of sine theta is sine 75, and cosine theta that is cosine 75. So therefore, we are going to have sine 2 and the value of theta is 75. And sine 2 times 75 that is 150 degrees. Since 150 degrees is located in quadrant 2 and the reference angle in quadrant 2 is 100. 80 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 2, that is 180 degrees minus 150 degrees, and that is 30 degrees. So sine 150 or sine 30 in quadrant 2, that is 1 half. And this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have cosine square 15 degrees minus sine square 15 degrees. Since the given expression is written in the form of 
cosine square theta minus sine square theta. And cosine square theta minus sine square theta, that is cosine 2 theta. And if we have the value of theta, that is 15 degrees, we are going to have cosine 2 times 15 degrees. So let us write cosine and 2 times 15, that is 30. And cosine 30 degrees, that is square root of 3 over 2. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we are going to have 2 tangent 22.5 degrees all over 1 minus tangent square 22.5 degrees. Since the given expression is written in the form of 2 tangent theta all over 1 minus tangent square theta. And 2 tangent theta all over 1 minus tangent square theta, that is tangent 2 theta. And the value of theta is 22.5 degrees. So let us have tangent times 2 and 22.5 degrees. So we have tangent 2 multiplied by 22.5, that is 45 degrees. And 45 degrees is 1. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.